Hi guys, um, showing this video, it's Hyperland, it's my own config, and it's dual screen. What you see up here is one, two, three, four, five. My second screen has six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's not the default Arcanlex setup, it's my personal setup. And that's the thing, a thing uh, you should always um, choose your own code, your own config, but you have a basis, you have a template, you start with something, not something black and then figure it out. So you have already a lot of configurations, but still you want to have one monitor, second one, maybe a third, maybe a fourth. You need to figure it out. Now Hyperland has the wiki. All right, let's has the wiki. Let's move this over here. So this is a dot config and in the dot config, there is a folder called hyper and in hyper, you have the hyper conf the configuration. I have another challenge, an extra challenge, but maybe many of us have that because not everybody's on QWERTY, right? So I have Azerty and there are so many different keyboards. The thing I do, I do a clean Arch Linux installation. Cool. But, as you know, I have these Arclinx Nemesis scripts and I've figured out a way how to dual screen Hyperland with Waybar at the top. So five desktops to the left and five desktops to the right. If you have ever seen the i3 configuration of Arclinx, same thing. So, what did I change? You can download this one. So this is an ericdubois.com, uh, sorry, uh, github.com and then ericdubois, Arclinx Nemesis, right? And in this file is what I've changed. So Hyperlint, this is my file for it. And the Waybar folder, this is my Waybar folder for it. So it is still up to you to read a lot of code. And where is it on the wiki of Hyperlint? Oh, I think it was a .org. There is information in the configuration somewhere here, wikihyperlink.org. So lots of links are in here. So learn, 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 right? Keywords, I've copy pasted quite a few of these links. Configuring variables. So what I've changed, let's do some coloring here. Pearl is a beautiful selection, voila. So I've told him, well, first off, Ctrl T, A render is something that we can have a look at. So, HDMI A1, that's my name. X render is something else. And Hyper CTL monitor is also something to check out. What's the name? So, this is the name. That is the name. A1 is to the left, A2 is to the right. Okay. And then you set everything up. So this can go. And where did I put my code? Here he is. So kill. We have here workspace one. I could add here a little line that shows you this is monitor one and this is monitor two. And tell them where the workspaces should be. What else did I change? So save, nothing changes, just the space. Then I told him that to Waybar, the config ini of the Waybar configuration, as you see in the URL, the yellow thing there. I told him, well, I have two things, right? I have two things. One is AGMI A1. Give me a custom menu, that thing. Escape. Custom change waybar, hyperland workspaces, CPU, memory. And the other one has HDMI A2 with the workspaces as well. So here is 1 to 5, and the other screen you can't see is 6 to 10. Custom weather is out, hence the slashes, but I do see the cycle wall, pulse audio, key bindings, clock, tray, and custom power. So that's changed as well. And uh, did I change something in the modules? Let me see, workspaces. 
you can always do a melt right then you know control find workspaces so I did change something I added these lines not sure is necessary or not but it says persistent workspaces and here as well I tell him probably necessary right one two three four five needs to be there so I want to see them I want actually to be able to just click 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 otherwise it's gonna be one two and probably six seven on the other one but I want to actually have already click click done and there right so this is what I've changed as well in here in the modules hyperland workspaces is something that we ask him to provide and that's the thing I've changed so I hope this will help you figuring out how hyperland works on multi monitor monitors or in this case dual monitor but as I said I'm not a specialist this took me ages to figure it out the wiki hyperland is there there's also the github um, did not help me right away so I just spent time in it testing it trying this trying that then end up with no bar at all etc right so keep testing it out but first make sure that everything every reference is correct so HDMI a1 not HDMI 1 for example well everything counts everything is important um, that's what I did and now I have a dual monitor with separate way bars with different workspaces and that's what I want to achieve all right cheers